We are now seeing and hearing for the first time interrogation video of one of two teenagers charged in the shooting death of a West Nassau High School football player. 16-year-old Trent Fort was killed back in February. News for Jacks reporter Janice Harris is joining us. She's been watching the two-hour interrogation, which includes questions about the moments leading up to the shooting. Janice? Yes, Tom, that is correct. And according to the interrogation video, Gavin Smith says that his father had warned him to stop hanging out with Ashton Riggs, but he didn't listen. Now both teens are facing serious charges for a 16-year-old student's murder, and many are very upset. A two hour long interrogation of 17 year old Gavin Smith. Smith was in the room after being arrested shortly after 16 year old Trent Ford was shot and killed. Smith tells detectives his version of what happened. He opened the door. Seconds later, someone is shot. Smith explains what he did next. I got up and I hauled out. I was trying to get them to drive me home. Like, drive me home, drive me home, please drive me home. I didn't, I didn't want to get out of here. I just want to get out of here. However, a detective questions Smith's story. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I don't think you're giving us the whole scoop. Everybody's stories are kind of lining up on both sides except for yours. The arrest reports say Smith met a group of five teens for a marijuana transaction. Smith claims he was being robbed. The detectives don't believe him. They're trying to rob you. What makes you think they're trying to rob you? Why do they think that you have money? They either think you have money or drugs. Smith claims a group had ongoing conflict with his friend, Ashton Riggs. However, this report says Smith was in the back seat with someone who was buying drugs, but Smith wasn't given enough money and the other four teams tried to get in the car. One of them punched Smith and Smith fired a shot, hitting Trent Fort. Smith fled with marijuana cash and a wallet and ran away, giving everything but the wallet to Ashton Riggs. Nassau deputies would find the evidence in a backpack lying in the woods. Trent Fort died from the single gunshot wound. Smith and Riggs sit in jail as Fort's family mourns a young life lost to gun violence. Both teens are being prosecuted as adults. Smith is charged with third degree murder. Riggs is charged as an accessory. Trent Ford's mother, Paige, said that she is filing civil lawsuits against each of the teen's parents for the teens that were involved in the shooting.